Y'all, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought. I look at this team under first-year head coach Willie Green, um, I, I think there's a lot of promise, but I, I think what they're lacking is, is leadership. And so I think when you bring in a guy like CJ McCollum, if 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 they can find the right mix uh, to to get him and trading him to a rebuilding Portland Trailblazers team, um, I think CJ McCollum would be someone who, who would be of great benefit from a leadership perspective, a guy that can play both guard positions. And I think someone who would mesh very well with head coach Willie Green and <clears throat> would play well in a system that is really a Mike D'Antoni system. You know, he's he is a a, a, a consultant uh, to that team. Um, after spending time in Brooklyn with Steve Nash last year, I think this is going to be the new realm that you're going to see Mike D'Antoni in, uh, where he's he's ushering in new head coaches into their roles and, and helping them, you know, in those nuances. So um, I, I think in short answer to your question, I think Zion Williamson, um, there's no timetable on his return currently. I think he's been going through rehab. I think he's been dieting. I think that um, <clears throat> there's no rush. Um, but I, I do think at some point they're going to have to answer some questions as it relates to their future. Well, that's a great point. And, and before we get into the topics we have tonight, Scoop, you mentioned CJ McCullough might be on their radar trying to get into the playing game. Is that more to do with just their natural development as a team trying to get into playoff contention? Or is this more about a move to try to keep Zion there long term? Because we've heard the rumblings that he may not be happy. From what I understand, both. And I'll also add that <clears throat> C.J. McCollum is not the only team. Uh, the New Orleans Pelicans are not the only team uh, who have their radar on C.J. McCollum. The New York Knicks uh, have their eye on not just McCollum, but also Justin Holiday. Um, and, and, and what I'll say is specifically to someone like C.J. McCollum, I think he's somebody who has established himself as someone who will be a vet and someone who will be around in the league for a long time. Um, but I also think that he can legitimately help some teams. Um, I know that someone like Robert Covington, who was just moved uh, in, the, in, the, in the move with the Clippers, was somebody else who was on the Pelicans radar as well. Um, they're looking for two things from my understanding. Um, someone who has the duality of an actual veteran leader on the floor, kind of like a like a J.J. Redick, uh, but a little younger because C.J. McCollum seems like old, an old soul. Like he's like the 16 year old that seems like he's 30. He's just been around for a long time. But also, I think that the, the, the that the Portland Trailblazers are looking to rebuild and, and that team may not look the same come Thursday. Um, and, and, and I also know. Um, that specifically as it relates to the Pelicans, um, they're trying to win. They're trying to continue that, that the culture of just getting to the next level. I, I think they want Zion part of it, but I also think that he's an, a great accompaniment at this point to Brandon Ingram. I think they were looking at him as a focal point, and I think the jury is still out just on his health, his, his, his conditioning, and I think until those questions are answered, to me, um, today, I, I still think it's Brandon Ingram's team.